So in this video, we're going to look at um, how we use a chain rule to calculate uh, higher derivatives. And we're specifically going to look at the second derivative, for instance. So here we see the situation is similar to what we've seen before. Z is a function f of x, y. And x itself is a function of two variables, s and t, and so is y. Now, we're asked to find the second derivative uh, of z with respect to s. So in order to do that, we need to use the chain rule twice. So first, uh, of course, to start with, we need the uh, we need to find partial z by s, which, as we've done before, is just going to be okay. And now to find the second derivative, of course, we're going to apply the s operator, or partial by partial s operator, to partial z by s, which means we will have um, partial 2z by s squared. The reason I do that is so that you can see that what's actually happening is we are applying this partial by partial s to this entire um, so now you see this is a product so as I go inside I'm going to be taking so, so what happens here and now now in this case um, as the partial s goes in so you treat this like a product so what that's going to be is this partial by partial s of fx, okay, multiply and then leave the xs alone because we're doing a product rule, and then it will be uh, partial fx into partial 2x and s squared, okay, and plus then you'll have uh, partial by partial s of fy, Okay, multiplied by ys, product rule again, plus partial f by y of, uh, that's okay, and partial 2y uh, by s squared. Okay, so that's uh, what will come from this. Then, as we uh, basically uh, go back here, now you see this partial f, uh, partial by partial s of fx, this here okay so this is just like this over here so the chain rule will will be applied to this okay so the chain rule needs to be applied to that so remember um, this is going to be uh, all of the uh, this uh, this here now we're going to apply this whole chain rule to it so instead of f you're going to have partial f by x so that means that we'll have now I'll write in red I'll put in red the uh, where the chain rule is being applied. So this will be essentially um, partial 2f by x squared. Okay, and I'll put it in brackets. Um, partial 2f by x squared x s uh, plus partial 2f by y x and y s okay and all of that is multiplied by this partial x by s that's just copying that down here plus you have nothing much to do in this one this is as it is it's already calculated now here again let's write in red where the chain rule is being applied on f y this time so it's going to be partial 2f and of course it's with respect to x first so it's xy and uh, uh, xs okay plus partial 2f by y squared into ys okay and then we'll write this piece here partial y by s okay partial f by y into 2y s squared. Now, as you can see, this is getting rather complicated and it isn't as difficult as it looks. Now, of course, uh, in an example, uh, if I do an example which is uh, a lot simpler than this, then you will see how the various pieces come together. So let's let's try to do that next. Okay, so say here's an example. Z is equal to f of x, y, x is equal to s squared plus t squared, and y is equal to s cubed minus t cubed. So partial z, s, uh, as you can see above, will work out to be just fx 
um, and then xs which is going to be 2s okay plus fy and the uh, uh, y derivative of that's going to be 3s squared okay so now as we go to the second derivative of s squared now this will be treated as a product so you'll first have partial by partial s of fx and leave the 2s here plus product rule so um, then it will be fx fx into the derivative of 2s is 2 plus similarly partial by partial s of fy and leave the 3s squared here plus partial f by y and now the the s derivative of 3s squared is 6s okay so now as we move further um, this is going to be now we apply the chain rule here like we did as you saw here we'll apply the chain rule so this is this piece okay so that means this will become partial 2f by x squared multiplied by xs xs is 2s plus partial 2f by yx into ys which is 3s squared okay all of this is multiplied by 2s okay so this is that one piece done plus um, you have twice of partial f by x nothing to do there and here again we'll apply the chain rule now to the fy with respect to s so just put brackets around it so just can be sure so that's going to be xy multiplied by xs which is 2s plus uh, 2f y squared second derivative with respect to y and multiplied by ys which is 3s squared and all of this is multiplied by 3s squared and plus you have partial f by y 6s okay so now as you can see it's a bit more clearer as to what is what is happening I know it does look complicated but unfortunately that's how this particular part is so the 2s and the 2s multiply give you 4s squared partial 2f by x squared plus goes in as well so you get it gets you 6s cubed partial 2f y x uh, plus 2fx plus uh, the 3s squared goes in and gives you 6s cubed 2fxy plus uh, 9s4 partial 2fy squared okay and plus fy 6s okay so we can finally you can see that there are a couple of common things here so other than that uh, we end up with 4s squared okay plus uh, let's say 9s4 okay those are and now as you can see these two okay this one and this one can be added to each other so we get plus 12 because uh, according to Clairaut's theorem or the condition of continuity and uh, two variable problem fxy fxy and fyx are the same thing so that's 12 s cubed partial 2fxy plus 2fx and plus 6s fy okay so i apologize that it does look rather complicated but certain things are just complicated um, so it can't be avoided I hope you have a reasonable idea of how this is done and so we'll stop here thank you